so first off we are talking about uh, the self-titled album from Genie. Do you want me to go for it? Yeah, go on then. So Genie, as, as Ned said, was released last year on the 3rd of December on Laser Life Records. It contains six songs and it's approximately 23 minutes long, so quite short, just under half an hour. It's the band's debut album. The band themselves are a four piece outfit from Vienna, Austria. Uh, they are self-described post-indie punk band that explores themes such as the destructive nature of addiction, as well as coming to terms with the incurable illnesses of loved ones in relentlessly honest German spoken word. Two of the songs from the album, 7J and Zug, have been made into music videos which are available online on YouTube. Both songs, uh, I would say, are wrought with emotion however 7j which i've came to realize stands for seven years oh. in particular fe- features footage from old home videos and we're given a bit of an insight into the background of the song and i believe the lead singer's kind of personal circumstances so in this song you know those those themes of the destructive nature of addiction and um, incurable illnesses are kind of fleshed out a bit more it kind of details how he unfortunately lost his mother to cancer at the age of seven and his father turned to alcoholism as, as a kind of way of coping um in august 2018 they had an argument which resulted in his father punching hitting him in the face and he fought back but doesn't kind of properly go on to explain how he did that exactly the video doesn't provide any further messages i suppose I, what i should say is i kind of got information about the kind of background to the song because i think during the bridge in in the song there's kind of there's messages that come up and i, I kind of took it upon myself to kind of translate it because i can't speak any other languages <laughs> can barely speak english so you know with the use of google translate i kind of found out a bit more about kind of the background of the song so yeah the, the song's really good it's as i said absolutely wrought with emotion after those kind of messages appear on the screen the song kind of explodes back onto the scene after those messages are presented to us uh the song you know in the song you really get the impression of someone who's kind of overwhelmed with anger and frustration you know the the song is has this kind of raucous kind of bold and brash kind of feel to it yeah it's 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 definitely one of the standout tracks on the album in my opinion yeah, I think that song, I don't know why I got a kind of, um, it reminded me of like a stripped back version of the Subways for some reason. There's like that kind of punk rock oh. vibe in the guitars that, that sort of drive the song along. And I moan a lot about vocals not having enough bite for me, but that, that's something that Genie do really Very well. Cool. There's loads of grit and emotion in the vocals and um, the last minute of this song really, really shows that off. I think um, it's... You mentioned those kind of themes of um, substance abuse and destructiveness of alcohol and you know, incurable diseases and, and, and that sort of thing. And because the vocals are in German, you know, that doesn't really, that doesn't translate through in the lyrics because we don't, neither of us understand German. But there's loads of emotional depth to the music and the, the intensity and the delivery of the vocals that come, and that comes across really strongly, which I think is, is, um, really impressive and uh, the the band have um they list like influences among the likes of Touche Amore and La Dispute uh, which makes sense kind of given the talk topics they're they're singing about and that kind of post hardcore kind of indie punk style of instrumentation they've got going on there. Um one of the most striking things on this album is the the inclusion of trumpets, which, which is for me, so good, so which, which, good, which is so good, and for me it does a couple of things. It adds a little bit of a ska punk vibe here and there, yeah. um, and but it also, probably more importantly, just adds another layer of emotion and melancholy when it's needed. And I suppose that's the first kind of dose of that is like towards the end of the opening track, part one, and it's. Yeah, it's so somber and so melancholic at the end of that song, but it's it's really really good and just adds a, a, a little bit extra in that song, I would say. Aye, it's sorry to interrupt, Snedge, but it's funny that you kind of mention that kind of ska punk feel because see, for my money, like the first song, part one, like the opening of that reminded me of something that Operation Ivy might have done way back in the day, which was like kind of prelude to 
rancid mm. um, from like what well, 80s or something. It just kind of opens with this really infectious guitar riff, which I've described as just that becomes emboldened with that trumpet that you mentioned, and it's it's an absolute belter. And then, as you said, you know, that kind of melancholic feel towards the end, I've described it as kind of being beautifully tender, and I think there's a lot of moments like that throughout the course of the album. It's, it's yeah, it's a really quite an evocative piece, I would say. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of, like, sad moments, a lot of really, really angry moments as well. Mm. And, um... Yeah, there's 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 a lot of good stuff on here. I mean, Zug, the second track, continues on kind of where the opening track left off with that kind of melancholic mood and the way the kind of vocals and the anger in the vocals surge in that song is really really engaging. And there's a good kind of stomping like instrumental section in the middle of the song, and then again the kind of more sad kind of element of the trumpets come in towards the end. You've got part two which kind of um, it brings back elements from the opening track. There's a bit of a reprise of similar melodies in the trumpets, and it's got it just feels similar in tone and theme to that to that first track. I really like the way the the vocals are layered in that song. The drums are are brilliant in that song as well. They're really hard hitting, and um, yeah, I think everything about a lot of these songs is really memorable. And um, I think you've you've mentioned seven. J before which is the fourth track so i'm just going to skip over that <laughs> but yeah um track five dry dry vort a bit more slower paced at least at the start it's a bit more spacious and starts to pick up some pace towards the end with some really good kind of squealing rasping guitars and there's a really cool sort of spiraling guitar lick that comes in around the three minute mark that i was really into and um, the end of the song reminds me a little bit of like um, brand new Deja and Tendu. Like, um... yeah, that's that's exactly <laughs> what I've got here in front of me. Yeah, it's. I mean, I love that album. So anything that sounds like it really sort of pricks up my ears, I suppose. Um, yeah. And then you've got the last track, September, which kind of just does a really good job of like rounding out the album. It does, you know, it combines all those elements that are elsewhere on the album just in a really satisfying way yeah I, I i like that kind of vocal refrain of september september towards the end that's so angst ridden and desperate in its delivery i would kind of love to know a bit more of the background of that and you know to be able to understand <laughs> understand be good but as you said you know what i mean like I, I think the fact that you you the fact that neither of us can speak german that doesn't take away from your appreciation of the album at all you know, I mean, as you said, there's so much character yeah. in the instrumentation and, and and the kind of vocal delivery that it's it's a really stand up album. Yeah, I like the fact that they don't try to do anything like too complicated. They kind of they kind of do what they do, and they do it with conviction yeah. and confidence, yeah. and they do it, and they do it well, and that just all those elements that they put together just tick a lot of boxes for me. And yeah, like you said. The, the language barrier doesn't isn't really a problem for me. I I mean I, I've I've kind of described it here. You know, obviously, I kind of went off in a big spiel about like you know it's to do with addiction, you know, dealing with incurable illnesses and cancers and what have you. But like the whole album, although there's you know, it's a bit of a kind of emotional roller coaster. There's some kind of really tender and kind of melancholic moments, but there's some really kind of triumphant and adversarial moments as well you know i mean you really feel, kind of get the impression that like they're not going to be beaten you know what i mean despite whatever's went on they're not going to be beaten they're not going to be back back down and yeah i think like you know a lot if if we could speak german i imagine quite a lot of this could be quite anthemic you know what i mean and yeah it's good absolutely. it's really good absolutely so what have you uh I've given, given, given it a some... 9 out of 10. Yeah, I've given it a 9 out of 10. I was tempted to give it a 10 out of 10, but oh, yeah. I, I don't know. I've I've given it an 8, but like a, a really like a, a strong, really strong, eight. really strong 8. It's a very, very good album. And if you like if you like sort of punk and post-hardcore and that kind of stuff, then you definitely need to give this a listen. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's a self-titled debut album. So that would be... And the eponymous debut album from Genie. <laughs> you missed a trick there, yeah, Hunt. I did. You yeah. missed your moment. 
It's it's maybe in my notes somewhere, man. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I just got a bit carried away with the background. <laughs> so yeah, the the uh, the eponymous debut album from Vienna's Genie. It's finished! It's finished! 